Welcome back to another Adventure Craft episode. In today's episode, we're going to be doing a bamboo farm. And for the bamboo farm, these are all of the items we're going to need. So it's a quite simple bamboo farm. So let's get started with it. So I'm just going to grab all of the items we need. And first of all, let's get... So we're going to... Grab our bamboo, stone, and polished deep, uh, and, and these, the stone and polished deep slate can be any blocks you want to do. Uh, glowstone, observers, and pistons. So we're going to place 15 glowstone, glowstone in a row in any direction. And the reason why we're doing glowstone is just any lighting block, any salt lighting block in general is so that way, even at nighttime, if this is built outside or underground, um, the bamboo will still grow. And then on top of the glowstone, we're going to place down our pistons. And then on top of the pistons, we're going to go five high. And then on top of the polished deep slate, we're going to do the observers. I always get places the wrong way. Where the face is facing towards the uh, bam bamboo. Uh, so that way when the bam bamboo grows, it will send a redstone signal uh, to, to out, out of the back, which we'll do something with later. And then a block under the uh, observer on the back side, we're going to place some, some stone down. And then we're going to grab our redstone and place our redstone down on that block. And then on the block of the um, pistons, we're going to place another row of blocks. Uh, we're going to place redstone dust down again. And then one on each side. One block in from each side, you're going to place a repeater down. Facing out, outward, like so. And from that, there you go. One block. Under it, one block, one block down, and you're gonna repeat it so it's like a spiral staircase down. And you're gonna place redstone dust all the way down, and then right here, you're gonna place a repeater going towards it. And then you're gonna do the same thing on this side. Now, when the bamboo grows, no matter where it will be, it will break it. Now, to catch the bamboo, I'm going to 
gonna dig three blocks down and then un you're gonna go one block under the bamboo. And I'm actually gonna come over here so I know where to stop. You're gonna go un under the bamboo and just dig a two by four for now. I mean, a two by two. We're gonna dig a uh, two by two. And then, we're going to use any, any type of block and fill in under the, where, where, where the bamboo is. We just did a two by two to make it easier to, uh, uh, have access now you could do this in any way you could uh do a standard block like like dirt or grass or stone or you could have it um let's put chest down this is just for example where it's hoppers going into a chest with um powered rails on top of it or you could just have it with powered rails on any type of block now that is really your uh, choice uh, if you have it with on any type of block um, the, car the mine cart might not empty all of the all all the way which is why I typically just do the hoppers all the way through so that way, no matter uh, it, the, the uh, hopper minecart is always uh, getting emptied out. And then to place the power rails, you need a uh, shift click on the hoppers. Okay, so this way, when the, when the hop when the power rail is going back and forth, it's always getting um, uh, emptied. And then. Halfway through, you're going to place a torch down. Um, you, you, you just want to make sure that uh, all the way is lit up uh, like it is right now. And then you're going to build uh, a little bit over. Um, on one side it really doesn't make a difference um, and when, when you place your chest down you need to have it one block um, away so this right here is the end of the bamboo farm you need to have your uh, chest one block past the uh, bam bamboo farm Uh, just just so you can place a block right there so that way the minecart won't shoot off and go off the track it will bounce back and forth on on the track and then this could be any any type of uh, rail you just need to use it to push the minecart hopper and then just quickly break the railing and place blocks so that way it bounces back and forth. And then um, use you could use a torch or just some sort of lighting block. Uh, but you can fill this area back in or leave it empty if you want to. But now the, um, the system to get the items is um, finished. So now the last thing we need is just to 
place the glass down. So the glass, we're going to go all the way up to the observers for right now. One on each side, all the way up like so. And then you can put one right here here if you want to. Uh, I'll leave it empty. And then we're just going to one block in front of the uh, ba bamboo. So it's going to look like this. And then we're going to take this all the way up. And then, right here, we're gonna do just one block over the observers to block block everything in. And then the farm is done. It will the bamboo will auto automatically grow, and when it gets to the observers, it will send a redstone signal down to the pistons, which will automatically break the bamboo. And with the uh, minecart hopper down rolling under it, it it will pick it up and it will put it into this chest for you so that's everything for this for the bamboo farm um, it's a pretty simple and um, easy farm so I'll catch you guys in the next one